Hi, this is Paul from globaltradingsoftware.com and back to basics for me. I first started off trading, swing trading stocks with Elliott Wave. Uh, so this is the thin course for inversion of our Elliott Wave indicator suite. And I'm looking at SAIC, the stock, uh, Science Applications International Core. Uh, I'm in this long term as well, but this is a good time to, to add to position or just swing trade this into Christmas. Four hour time frame. Uh, first of all, really like to note this um, this since the summer we've been in this really sort of strong range band and we've just recently broke out of that and that's what Elliott waves about trading with the trend we've we've actually got a real great bullish trend here and then we've had some profit taking and the point of Elliott wave is to measure that behavior of that profit taking and look to return to that trend uh, so denoted really noted this sort of um, strong triple bottom here before we got the launch up uh, very very interesting but let's have a look at this behavior because uh, I'm really really uh, looking forward to this sort of trade this trade setup is fantastic because there's a lot of things happening here so the wave four has pulled back into and found support at the top end of the amber zone of our automated pullback zone so that represents an 80 percent probability it's going to go on and hit this automated fifth wave target zone around $116. But also I use our EMA cloud here, uh, which this one's a 55 and the pink, the pinky one is 89. So when we're swing trading, this 55 is our sort of non-linear support. So these, these are fib zones, uh, the green, amber, red, and this is a, an EMA cloud. So we've got both linear and non-linear support on this wave four. Fantastic. But then we look at down below at some of the subcharts we use with the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite. So the first of all, we see um, the bias um, is, um, so we've gone from neutral to bullish, back to neutral. This will turn back to, to bullish as we come up through our potential entry here. Uh, we've got the false breakout stochastic. So this yellow line here on the overbought zone denotes a really strong bullish trend. And when that happens during a wave three, that's what we really like. Because then when the stochastic comes back under and into the oversold zone against that overbought, there's a likelihood is it wants to return to that overbought uh, false breakout um, condition. We also then look at our uh, LUA wave oscillator. This has pulled back between 90 and 140% during the wave four. So there's a lot of behavior here. This all ticks in the boxes for this. So now we need an entry strategy. So we need to be a little bit ca careful really on this sort of uh, resistance here, uh, that sort of zone there because we got quite a few, you know, a few days there where it just struggled to push through. So we want to get an entry just above that, I think. So 108.51 stop limit order to buy uh, SAIC. Don't buy at the lows. It's got to do the work first. It's got to get through the start line. The start line is 108.51. The stop is just below the wave four low there, 103.91. That gives us a risk to reward of 1 to 1 1.6. So we risk $10,000 here to win $16,000 if it hits the fifth wave target. And that's what we're, what we're aiming for here. So when we're looking at these Elliott wave moves, the fifth wave is the highest probability move. Uh, and we are looking for a minimum of 1 to 1 1.6 risk to reward. We don't adjust strategy, the entry strategy to get that risk to reward. We look at the entry strategy first and say, yes, this is sensible. It's outside of our 6-4 moving average high, which we use for our entries. And that would be outside that for today's first bar position. And, you know, we're above all of this clustering here, this little bit of resistance that, that could cause an issue. And we've got our stop as standard below the wave 4. So we have a risk reward of 1 to 1 1.6. So we're looking for a long on SAIC. Uh, going uh, into, you know, probably uh, could be a two week trade, something like that, uh, into the $116. So that's it. Check out the links below. This is a thin or swim version of the Elliott Wave indicator suite there. I put the links in for the MA Cloud as well because they are fantastic non linear supports. Uh, 55 for swing trading on the four hour or the daily, and 89 as well. 
so check out there and I'll also put the links in for the other platforms for the Elliott Wave and the EMA Cloud as well. That's <laughs> it.